Happy Tie-Dye Tuesday, scholars and families. I'm wearing my favorite tie-dye shirt. I hope you're wearing some tie-dye clothing too, or maybe a tie-dye headband, or maybe just some bright colors. I'm really excited to get started today, so let's jump right into Module 6, Lesson 4. Your page should look like this one. Um, you should have your packet out in front of you with a pencil and an eraser. Let's get started. We're gonna start reading on the word faith. We're reading together on two, one, two. Faith has 24 apple slices. Daniel has 13 apple slices. How many fewer apple slices does Daniel have? Go ahead and pause and solve this problem on your page now. Nice job. Now that you did that on your own, let's do it together. So I'm going to mark up my problem because we cannot forget to do that. I'm going to circle 24 and 13. And I notice the words, how many fewer. The words, how many fewer, do those tell us that we're looking for the total or a part? That's right. How many fewer tells us that we're looking for a part? We're looking for a? That's right. So let's use a double tape diagram and a subtraction number sentence to help us solve. If I'm going to use a double tape diagram, which is our new tool that we've been using a lot recently, I'm going to make sure that I set it up like this. So I need to use the information that I know in the problem to set up my double tape diagram. So we know that faith has 24 apple slices. So I'm gonna draw a box for faith. I'm gonna make it kind of big because 24 apple slices is a lot. And I'm going to label it with the number 24 inside of the first tape diagram. When it's just one bar like this on, that we have on our page, it's just called a tape. That's what makes up the tape diagram are the two tapes. Anyway, so we label it 24 inside, and then we label it F for faith, hey faith. Then we need to figure out how many fewer apple slices Daniel has. So we know that Daniel has 13 apple slices. Oops, that's not the shape I want. So we know that Daniel has 13. So let's go ahead and label it 13 and a D for Daniel. So here, there are a couple ways to solve this problem. One way to solve this problem is to take your um, double tape diagram and draw a line above faiths like that and label it 24. This tells me that the whole tape, Faith's entire tape, is equal to 24. Then from there, I can draw a line that lines up with the end of Daniel's box in Faith's box, like that. And then I would label this part 13. Then I can just figure out what this missing piece is. And we'll have our answer of how many fewer Daniel has. Or the other way to do it, I really like this way, but the other way to do it is to go back and make it look like this. Then draw an imaginary extra tape right here and say, okay, if we know that Faith's entire tape is 24, her total is 24, and Daniel has a part of 13, what is the other part that we're missing right here? Both ways are totally okay. I'm totally okay with either one. I really like doing it, oops. I really like doing it the other way. Let me set it back up again. Oh no. 
I really like doing it the other way. I like doing it this way where I can see where my missing part is. So let's solve for our missing part now. We know that the total of Faith's tape is 24, or Faith has a total of 24 apple slices. So I'm gonna start with that number in my number sentence. I also know that Faith has a part of 13. So I'm going to subtract the part that I know, which is 13, and then I should get my answer. If you use a different um, number sentence, like a subtract, an addition number sentence, that's totally okay too. Let's solve this subtraction number sentence. To solve, I'm gonna grab my part 13 and count up to my total. Let's do it together now. Say 13, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So I had 10 plus one more, which is 11, which tells me that this missing part of Faith's tape is 11, which means that Daniel has 11 fewer than Faith, and Faith also has 11 more than Daniel. I hope you got this on your page. If you didn't, go ahead and fix your page now. If you did, let's keep going. So today, we are looking at these big numbers right here. So first, on this page, our number is 78. If I break up 78 into two parts, one part of, um, tens and one part of ones, what are my two parts? Think, 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 then shout it out in three, two parts, tens and ones in two, tens and ones in one. That's right, my two parts are 70 and eight. I broke up the total of 78 into tens, 70, and ones, eight. Nice job. Let's say this number as tens and ones. 78 is equal to seven tens and eight ones. Your turn. Say this number as tens and ones. I'm listening, go ahead. What number is equal to seven tens and eight ones? Shout it out, on two, one, two. That's right, 78 is equal to seven tens and eight ones. Let's put that in our place value chart now. Seven tens, eight ones. Now, let's go over to our number sentences over here. I want you to write as many addition number sentences as you can that use this number bond. Pause and write as many addition number sentences as you can using this number bond. Nice job, you did it on your own. Now let's do it together. So, I am going to start with my tens. So let's start with the tens. We know we have 70. And then I'm gonna add the ones to make 78. Now let's start with the ones. I have eight ones plus seven tens to make a total of 78. Now on this next number sentence, I hope you didn't get tricked because here's the equal sign right here. So I know that I need to start with my total. My total was 78. Let's start with the tens. I have seven tens or 70. Now let's add the ones, eight ones 
Nice job. Now let's start with the total again. And now let's start with the ones, then add the tens. Nice job. Your number sentences should look something like mine. All, what do you notice about all of these number sentences? Go ahead and pause your video and think about what you notice all of these number sentences have in common. Nice job. Now that you've thought about it, let's look at them together. So I see in all of these number sentences that we are using the exact same numbers that we have in our number bond. Some of them we might start with the tens, like over here and over here. And on some of them we start with the ones, like right here and right here. On all of these number sentences, we're using the three parts the two parts and our total from our number bond to make number sentences. Nice job. Now let's look at these more than statements down here. Today we are going to work on writing more than statements. We are going to work on writing. That's right. When you see a sentence frame that looks like this, blank, more than blank is blank, that is a more than statement because we have the two words more than right there. What is eight more than 70? Pause and think. That's right, eight more than 70 is 78. So I'm gonna draw that in my more than statement. Let's, let's say it together. Eight more than 70 is 78. Nice job. Pause and try the next more than statement on your own. Good job, you did it by yourself. Now let's double check our work together. This time, let's start with the tens. What is 70 more than eight? That's right, 70 more than eight is 78. Let's write it in our more than statement together. 70 more than eight is 70. Eight. Nice job. You'll notice that on these more than statements, we did the same thing that we did with our number sentences. We used our two parts to combine them to make the total. Let's keep going. If you need more time on this one, go ahead and take it. If you don't, let's keep moving. So the next number that we're looking at is 50. Four. If I break up 54 into tens and ones, what are my two parts? Go ahead and fill them in on your number bonds now. Nice job. Now that you did it on your own, let's do it together. So we're breaking up 54 into two parts of tens and ones. And we know our total is, oops, let me choose a different color. We know our total is 54, breaking it up into tens and ones, we get 50 and 4. Say this number as tens and ones, go. That's right. Repeat after me, 54 is five tens and four ones. Your turn. Nice job. Write the tens and ones in the place value chart. Pause and do it on your own. Good, now that you did that, let's do it together. 54 is equal to five tens and four ones. Nice job. 
Now you're going to write as many addition number sentences as you can using your number bond. Pause and solve. Nice job. Let's do it together now. Let's start with the tens. The tens are 50 or five tens plus the ones, four is equal to 54. Give yourself a pat on the back if you have this number sentence on your page. Nice job. Now let's start with the ones. The ones are four. Add the tens. And we get the same total of 54. Now on the next ones, we need to start with the total. Don't forget, because we see the equal sign. Then add the tens. Oh, okay. Then add the ones. Then on the next one, start with the total. Sorry, scholars, my handwriting is really messy. I'm trying my best. <laughs> add the ones, then add the tens. Great. Let's make some more more than statements. What is four more than 50? Write it on your more than statement now. And for the second one, what is 50 more than four? Go ahead and pause and solve your two more than statements now. Nice job, you did it on your own. Now let's look at them together. First, I want to know what is four more than 50. Let's read this statement together. Four more than 50 is, shout it out. That's right, 54. Now on the next one, I'm gonna start with my number that's in my tens place. The number that's in my tens place is 50 or five tens. So 50 more than, then we gotta do the ones place, four is 54. Nice job, scholars. Take more time on this if you need. If not, we're moving on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to solve these first two pictures together. You're gonna to do the next two by yourself and then it's your independent practice to keep working super hard. Let's read the directions on this page. We're reading on two, one, two. Count the objects. Fill in the number bond or place value chart. Complete the sentences. So what you're going to do on these, let's solve the first top and the bottom one together. So let's first count the objects. Remember that these bundles right here are bundles of 10. So we're counting 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, plus, oh, so, plus one, two, three, four. 70 plus four, let's grab 70 and count on four more. 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, great. 70 plus four is 74. So on my, oops, in my number bond, I'm gonna write the total is 74. And our two parts are 70 and four. Nice job. Now you need to fill out the bottom sentences. So 70 and cross out six and write four. And then cross out six right there and write four. Fill in these two sentences right here on your own. Go ahead and pause and solve. Good, now that you did it on your own, let's look at them together. So 70 and four make 70, 
71, 72, 73, 74, 74. And 70 plus four is also 74. Nice job. Let's go to the bottom one. Right here. So first we're gonna count, then fill in our chart, and then fill in the number of sentences, or the sentences. So let's start here. We're counting 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Keep that number in your mind. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. Okay, so we know we have a total of 69. So now fill in your place value chart with those, um, with that total. We know that we have six tens and nine ones. In our number sentence, we need to add the parts of tens and ones. There are six tens, which is equal to 60. And what number is equal to nine ones? That's right, nine. Now let's read this sentence together. Nine more than 60 is, nine more than 60, 16, 61, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 69, that's right. Scholars, the rest of this page, or sorry, the rest of this um, lesson is your independent practice. Keep working hard. And um, I can't wait to see you at our next Zoom party. And happy Tie Dye Tuesday. Bye, scholars.